My name is Liz Scott, and I want to take you through a brand new QuickBooks Online Advanced functionality. This is designed for all of you who are working with clients that use projects, and you want to be able to gather reports in order to be able to determine project profitability. This new enhancement is all about estimates versus actuals. I'm going to take you live into QuickBooks, and we're going to go through some of the functionality in order to be able to help clients who need to be able to see estimates, actuals, expenses, and invoicing all in one, be one place in order to be able to determine profitability. So you should be with me inside of QuickBooks Online and I'm in my project center. I'm looking at one project specifically, Megan's test project. And from here, what we're gonna do is start with looking at our estimates. We can come over and we could create an estimate for this project, or I'm going to go ahead and show you one that's been generated ahead of time. And this project has got an estimate for each of the different items that will be added to this job. We can see that we've got the rate that it will cost for each of these items and the markup. The rate and the cost are not going to be visible by your customer, but it's something to help you as a tool to see how much are you going to be spending and then what's the expected price that you're going to be receiving for that particular project. The other thing that you can see that's new is up here in the right hand top of the screen, you've got your estimated project margin. So it's going to tell you, are you going to be able to make enough um, based on what you've entered into your estimate? What are the estimated costs based on the estimate um, totals that you're going to be asking the customer to pay? So then having a netted income amount that's estimated to be able to tell you, are you on track or do you need to make some adjustments? One of the things that's important for this functionality is to make sure that your status of the invoice or the estimate is accepted. If it's pending, you're not actually going to be able to see these details of the estimate for your reports. The next thing you want to do is make sure that you've entered in some expenses. So when you are purchasing the goods for this accepted project, make sure that you're using the item detail. Categories is going to give you totals that are not going to show up and you're gonna be able to compare naturally against the items that you chose that you sold. So make sure that you're also choosing the project in order to um, post these expenses too. Lastly, you wanna make sure that you are invoicing for these amounts. So using a estimate, you can actually turn that into an invoice. You could choose to use um, a percentage of those lines. You could say that you want to invoice all of the um, balance due. If I turn this into an invoice, I can now say, do I need to make any adjustments? I have QuickBooks making a suggestion here saying, you don't normally have this high of a markup. So maybe you might want to adjust this rate or possibly there was something additionally that needed to be um, treated with care. And so the rate increase is actually appropriate. We're going to go ahead and save and close. And the last thing we're going to be able to do is now take our reports and go over to our new estimates versus actual reports. From here, I'm able to actually see what's all of the estimated costs, what have I actually invoiced? So which pieces have actually been um, purchased? So here I've got my cost and then I can actually see what was my income and I can see the rate at which I had expected to receive income and then what did I actually receive? All of this is super helpful for being able to determine with your client's project profitability. I do wanna also make sure that you are aware I am using QuickBooks Online Advanced and I did do a couple of setup pieces to begin with. I made sure that projects were turned on. I made sure that my estimates could be billable and I wanted to be able to show those rates. All of these are going to help you with enhancing your project functionality while working with clients.